Hello everybody. I'm back again. Another video. A couple topics we're going to go over today. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, my name is Steven Richards and we are on the Steve Richards YouTube page. Uh, we usually talk about Flat Earth and um, well that's what we're going to talk about today. It's the year 2016 and there is not any proof that we live on a globe. Now I know you can say that there are like many many equations that prove we are on a globe but with any added variable which is a lot in there you can make an equation fit anything anything then there's NASA hasn't released one legitimate picture of the earth ever you can clearly tell that they are either computer generated images or paintings it's that simple when I see a picture of the earth created by NASA I I don't say is that a photo or a painting I say is that CGI or is it painting because it's clearly not real NASA has been giving us nothing but shit since they were first created I believe in 1958 or 59 one of them too but they've been bullshitting you guys and me since then making tons of money tons of money and that's another thing everyone's like oh what's the motive behind hiding the the, the real shape of the air like have you ever heard the saying money makes the world go round it's because money creates an image an illusion that the earth is a globe it's not a uh it's not money makes the world go flat and round no it's money makes the world go round because all money's doing is painting a picture for you a round earth a globular earth not an oblate earth though not a pear-shaped earth just a sphere Neil deGrasse Tyson said the earth is pear-shaped well then how come none of the pictures from NASA are pear-shaped earths there's a little issue with his uh, with his statement there and he could clearly he could rebuttal and say they are CGI images and it's just easier to make it look like it's a circle but we all know that they are CGI images and they are they're just complete crap like the, the space agencies like the all the separate ones can't even agree on what like tint the water is what shade the land is like you gotta admit it's pretty pathetic when you're getting paid like like as an agency individually probably like like 10 to like 20 billion dollars almost a couple trillion dollars a year to uh to make people think we live on a globe and you can't even agree on what like color the water or the land is it's just pretty pathetic if you ask me and they keep asking for for i call them donations but they're really annual budgets increases but and they always get approved always get approved and the thing is nasa has all this money right but they claim it was because of budget cuts that they had to record over all the original is either the files or the original blueprint blueprints to Apollo 11 like why would you record over man mankind's greatest mission greatest accomplishment it makes no sense it's because it never happened you see how easy it is for me to pick at NASA all day it's too easy and the sad thing is they they pay trolls to try to troll people like me like Jaren like Bob like to trying to troll all of us but but it's not working clearly because I'm still here Jaren's still there Bob's always there 
Like, I don't... Like, they're... They're trying to shut this whole thing down, but it's not going to happen. Like, there wouldn't be this much resistance if what we're talking about isn't true or isn't, like, remotely true. Like, if this was, like, completely, completely wrong, like, like, like it's not, if it wasn't sensible, they wouldn't treat it as harshly as they do. Like, I've never seen any anyone resist so hard against any other type of conspiracy like well there are a bunch of people who deny um, the geoengineering and the climate changing due to uh, the sprayings of the planes the chemtrails I like to call them I don't like to call them that because if you type in chemtrails into Google Wikipedia Brings you to a conspiracy is crazy type of site. But if you type in geoengineering or, or man-made climate change, you get a whole nother animal. And that's what you guys got to look up. But like I was saying before, a lot of people resist against that. And that's right in front of their faces almost on a day-to-day -day basis. But they don't resist as hard against the flat earth. Like you could say geoengineering and the climate change uh, control methods are uh are part of the depopulation and you'll get some hate i get some hate for that a good amount of time i was honestly in a no i, I wasn't in it people were trolling all over my page the other day um but i kept up with them shut them down every chance they got honestly after like four hours i said screw it and just stopped responding but um that's the people that's like the only that's the most extreme i've ever seen anyone resist the chemtrails um the kid said he worked for the government who i was talking to so that could be why but um i have no proof of that uh, i don't really feel like looking for proof of that it's just some stupid asshole on facebook but when people resist against flat earth they don't they don't give the time to talk like i got i got my time to talk against these kids but when i when i talk to someone about flat earth who is like pro science or or pro globe I don't get more than 30 seconds before I get interrupted or from typing away they'll say something and I'll type back something undeniable it's proof it's right there it should be over and they'll go and correct my grammar like that's how sad it's getting it's gotten pretty sure I've ranted about that before like they just they try to they, once they realize that that damn this kid might be right they get scared like everyone who denies the flat earth not everyone everyone who get gets the evidence in their face in their hands and won't click on the link it's because you're scared you need to man up click the link just watch the video you're scared to be proven wrong it is scary it's scary knowing all the shit that i know but yet you don't see me going completely loony some people call being on YouTube crazy, but trust me, there's worse cases out there. <laughs> Much worse cases, but I just don't, I don't get why you guys think this is like, I, I don't know why you can't just click the link. It's not too, like it is life changing, but it's for the better of you. It's going to make you feel better. Maybe not at first. You might get a little angry and upset you've been lied to. But once you realize that there is something after here, that you were put here for a reason, that you weren't a mistake, that you're not a speck of dust, that you're not, like, just here by, by chance, by 37 different chances. Once you realize you're here for a reason and you were put here by something stronger than you, better than you, in every single way and aspect, and we were made in there in their image they took the most time in making us once you get your head around all that you're gonna feel a whole lot better about yourself like right now it could all go down tomorrow the elites could just say you know what screw these stupid sheeple and let's just go exterminate them all and they knocked at my door i'd have a smile on my face and just say pull the fucking trigger like just do it get me out of here because i know after here there's somewhere or something much better for all the hardship 
for all the bullshit that the average person gets put through on a day-to-day basis by by these in power it's going to be worth it it's all a spiritual aspect it's a conscious aspect speaking of conscious aspects it brings me to the next point I want to talk about around three years ago three and a half years ago actually it's coming up on four now because it's almost uh, August but when I got into the whole flat earth thing the, the conscious of it was very low like I could look I would put it on, on Facebook and immediately 90,000 people are going to comment you're an idiot and then they'll try to put you down and make you feel stupid because you're looking at something that they're unfamiliar with granted well still nowadays but three four years ago the flat earth society was prop that would be the first thing that would pop up if you typed in the word flat earth now that's not the case thankfully that's not the case because that's nothing but disinformation I remember when I first got into this, I was like, oh, it makes sense now. Like gravity is explained by the flat plane moving up at something, something per, per feet to, to make sure that everything that jumps up comes back to the ground. That's what I thought it was at first. That's what I, the first thing I was taught. I didn't promote that at first. I, I like consulted with a couple of my buddies and we, uh, we didn't seem to like that idea, but that was the only idea. That was before we were introduced to the whole like self-enlightenment, speculation, and theorizing part of all this. But like, there's, there was a lot of disinformation out back then. So whatever you would put out, chances are it was not credible at all. Anything that you would like look up. Now, it's a whole lot different. There is still... A decent amount of uh, disinformationist out there but you can spot those from a mile away but like I was saying anything that you would put out like even like two years ago three years ago like people would just pick you apart no no questions asked no holes bar they would go in make you feel like you're the stupidest person in the world um, like the attacks were were just unreal back then but now it's 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 kind of changed a little bit. Like granted, I still get a bunch of trolls on uh, in all the flat Earth groups everywhere I post my stuff, the forums, all that. But um, like th- those are expected. It's really the same people every time. I'm starting to like come to the thought that they were assigned to 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 troll me in specifically because every time I post something, it's the same like four people. But with that being said there is a lot more people who are who are opening up to this idea and considering it and taking it seriously and there's also a handful of people who i believe are in the flat earth closet i'll call it like they're afraid to come out because they know they're going to get ridiculed but deep down they know that this is not bogus this is legitimate they know that what I'm saying, what others are saying on this topic that know what they're talking about and are promoting this, like they know that, well, they don't know, but they feel deep down that, that this is like no joke. They're doing this because they feel that people need to know this information. Like I'm not trying to profit off this. This is not something, honestly, two years ago, I would have never seen myself making an one YouTube video related to this like maybe two years ago I would try to get rich off of YouTube make a stupid cat video but I'm over that money doesn't really mean nothing to me money is just a number that you that's just made up and it's usually a number that you got to pay back because all money does is put you in debt like we don't need money as a society like it, it it just makes everything more difficult for the average human being it makes things a lot easier for for like the wealthier the ones who are in power it makes stuff a lot easier for them like tomorrow we could easily just just trade and barter and borrow or even just as like individual communities just like everyone 
like pitches in their equal amount to you know put their part in for the community like you'll have the farmers farming the hunters will hunt the people making uh like the blacksmiths will do their work and people can just like manufacture their own clothing it it's honestly a system that has worked for hundreds of thousands of years up until like recent history i don't know why we abandoned all that but clearly if it worked then it'll still work now and it it, it worked since since the beginning of time like you've always had the hunter the gatherers the farmers like all of them and now and now you got the people who like do nothing they just sit there collect your money and make you go in further debt like that wasn't around back then like granted there were kings and queens and shit like that but but more or less like if you went into some like random village in china in the year like 600 like they would be the whole community sitting together as one like doing their thing peacefully not fighting with one another not trying to kill anyone else it's a very simple concept but we have seemed to have to have abandoned that and we've abandoned a bunch of other simple concepts like integrity no one has integrity nowadays no one has any respect for anyone else no one has respect for themselves either because if you're just gonna make people suffer for their entire life while the remainder of your life is collecting their money you have no self-respect or integrity you're more or less a piece of shit like i don't know if you if you were aware that you're not made to to pay people that you don't know for your entire life like the second you're born you're a stock you're a stock to the to the banks that we owe money to the federal reserve is nothing but a joke keeps printing money with nothing to back it sooner or later we're gonna be screwed and it's much sooner than later i believe like we need to honestly i don't even know what we ha what we can do about that you can stop printing money you could just be you know less greedy not have to buy the more expensive product because you can because you have the money how about we work as a community and i'm not saying give up all your money and give it to people give it to your neighbors i'm just saying use your money use the power that you have if you have power or money in this day and age use that for the benefit of yourself and others like you can't like you, it, <clears throat> you you can do both it's it's possible because mo most of the time when you do something for self benefit it's not it's going to make a lot of other people like either feel like crap or or you're going to be taking money from them or scamming them in some sort of way but it is possible to make yourself feel great while you make others feel great like if you have 10 million dollars in your bank right now I, I would highly recommend that you get on a, a plane and go to Africa and take, I don't know, $50,000 and go and go feed a, a, an entire community for, for months. That's all it takes. Simple acts of kindness will solve the problems that we have in the world today. Like, it doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be all evil. We can still turn this ship around, but if we don't act now, it's not going to happen. I feel like the general population, they're either A, 
just never going to wake up. And when FEMA people start knocking at your door tomorrow to tell you to come into a camp, they're just going to accept it. Or we're going to wake up when it's too late. You're going to wake up when the people come to your door telling you to get in the thing. You're like, oh man, well he was right. And now you're screwed. And if you think I'm kidding, do yourself a favor, Google, YouTube, type into any search engine, FEMA camp disposable coffins. There's hundreds of thousands of them per campsite. For what reason? I don't know, but I can take a pretty good guess. It's going to be you inside of there and me. But I'll tell you, it's not going to be me because I ain't going to a camp. I'm not doing that. They come knocking at my door. I'll tell you right now, they don't shoot me on sight. I'll sure as hell make them shoot me. I'll attack every single one of them. Get shot in the head and I'll, I'll be thankful that I don't have to be on this infested, diseased, dark written world anymore if it comes down to that but i have hope that we can turn all the negative around and make this place a positive beautiful place that it was intentionally supposed to be for us and on that note i think i'm going to wrap this one up if you need to contact me scuba 2114 at gmail.com or you go on Facebook, Steve Richards. Uh, I'm under there. If you just type in Steve Richards Flat Earth, it should pop up decently soon. And honestly, I'm gonna go out on a limb on this one. If you really wanna contact me, here's my phone number. Area code 413-896-6379. If you wanna contact me, go right ahead. If you're gonna troll, you're gonna get hung up on real quick because I don't have time to deal with people like that every day. Maybe every now and a good blue moon I'll take one on, but I ain't feeling that. But until next time, you all have a great day. Flat on everybody. Just keep it flat, keep it simple. And remember one thing, we never made it to the moon. Good day.